Hello and thank you for joining. In this video, I will give you an overview of the sewing tools in Close 3 d and I will also give you some tips and tricks that you might not see in any other videos. Welcome to Bob and Talk. So what are the sewing tools and where are they? Let's take a look in the 3D and 2D window. Some of them are in both 3D and 2D window and some of them are only in one or the other window. Let's start with the 3D window. The first tool here is Edit Sewing Tool and take a look that when I click on it, it also highlights in the 2D window. That means that we can use it in both windows and we can utilize it by clicking either in 2D or 3D window. We can use the Edit Sewing Tool once we have our seams and there are different options that we'll review a little bit later. The next sewing tool is Segment Sewing Tool or Shortcut N. Once I click on it in the 3D window, you can also see it highlight in the 2D window. That means that we can use it in both windows. This is the tool that allows us to sew a segment to another segment. The next tool in the 3D window is M, Sewing Tool or Free Sewing. M is the shortcut and once you click and hold, you will see two different options here. One of them is the Free Sewing. The other one is M to N free sewing. That means that we can sew multiple pieces to multiple pieces or one to many pattern pieces. The next tool in the 3D window is auto sew. I will just hover over it. You will see that auto sewing is only in the 3D window. We don't have auto sewing here in the 2D window. Let's move on to the 2D window. We already saw that we have edit sewing tool. We have segment sewing tool. We have M or free sewing tool. And the last tool that we didn't have in the 3D window, but we have here is check sewing line. Once you click on it, you will see the two options that you have, length difference and ratio difference. So let's start with any garments that you may have. I have a short sleeve t-shirt and an A-line skirt. In the back, I have three pieces. And on the front, I've also cut out my t-shirt into a few different pieces. That will give us the opportunity to utilize the N segment tool, the M free sewing tool, and one to many segments. So let's dive into it. Let's go to the 2D window and take a look at our pattern pieces. Let's start with the segment sewing tool. That's the easiest one. And for the purposes of this demo, I selected my top, all of the pattern pieces. I right clicked and I froze this so it doesn't move when I'm simulating the skirt. I will start with the skirt as that has perfectly defined segments. Let's select the end segment tool. You can click on the segment sewing tool either in the 2D window, the 3D window, or you can click N as in Nancy on your keyboard and that will give you the segment sewing tool in your hand. All we need is defining what are the two segments that we want to sew to each other. Let me just separate the skirt pieces here so you can see a little bit better in the 3D window how this will work. I will start with the center front. You can create the seam either in the 2D window by clicking on one piece and then clicking on the other one or I'm going to delete it. You can do the same exact thing in the 3D window and click on the two segments that you want to sew together. Notice that we have these notches here and it's very important that you match notch to notch, meaning that the notch on one and the other piece needs to appear at the same side of the pattern piece. If you click on one segment piece with the notch at the lower part, for example, and then on the next segment piece with the notch on the higher part instead of the lower, you can see how the sewing line is crisscrossing. If you do this, that will reverse the seam and once you simulate, it will twist the pattern pieces. You will get a twisted pattern pieces that will not match up. So it is very important to match the notches. If you get to this point where you have a reverse seam, you can simply undo or you can come and utilize the edit sewing tool. Click, select the edit sewing tool, right click on either one of the sewing lines that you want to edit and select reverse sewing. That will fix your sewing. Let's go back to end sewing tool and complete our skirt. I will sew my notches. This is linked with symmetric editing and sewing, so it's putting them on both sides. And I will do the same for the back dart. And the only other thing that we need to do is the side and the back. If you want to make sure that you're doing this correctly, 
it is a great idea to come and check in the 2D window. I'm going to select my end sewing tool from the 3D window this time and just sew the center back pieces and then the side pieces. Now here comes the first trick. You can start sewing in the 3D window and then finish the sewing in the 2D window. Or you can start sewing in the 2D window and complete the sewing in the 3D window. It doesn't matter which way you start. You can start in the 2D window, finish in the 3D window, or you can start in the 3D window and finish in the 2D window. It makes no difference. If you learned something new, please like this video. I am ready to simulate my skirt, but before I do that, I will separate the t-shirt slightly so it does not interfere with the skirt simulation. I also want to make sure that my pattern pieces are closer arranged to her waist, not so low, as they need to be a bit higher than this. And I'm just going to pull this t-shirt a little bit more and we're ready to simulate. I'm going to click the space bar. You could also click simulate up here on the top left with this arrow and simulate. And we can see that our skirt has perfectly sewn together and the segment sewing tool worked on all of our skirt segments. Next, let's try the auto sewing tool. As a reminder, auto sewing is only applicable to bounding volumes provided by Clo. First, we need to unfreeze our t-shirt. So let's have both windows open so we can see all of the pattern pieces. I'm gonna grab and select all of the pattern pieces for the t-shirt, then right click in the 3D window and unfreeze. Now we can simulate after we sew. We have all of our t-shirt pieces here. They don't need to be selected. We will go to the auto sewing tool and click on it and it will synchronize and it will let us know if it missed anything. So auto sewing stopped due to an exceptional case. That means that there are some pieces that are not provided by Clo or just couldn't finish the sewing in some pieces. So let's see what happened. Click OK and we see all of the sewing lines that were completed. We can also take a look in the 2D window, inspect. In some cases, it's easier to see all of the seams. If you don't see the seam lines or the threads here, just come to the t-shirt and make sure that you have selected or you've activated show threads. Now we can see all of our thread lines and you can even separate some of the pieces so you can see better. It looks like everything on the t-shirt was well put together. Let's simulate and see what this looks like. You can either click up here or spacebar on your computer. I am simulating and see if everything will work out well. So it looks like all of the seams were attached. You can grab and pull to make sure everything is there. And then rotate. It looks like everything was done. We're good to go. So auto sewing worked really well for this particular t-shirt, but it might not work well for complex pattern. Either way, you should try it and see how it works for you. Next, we'll try the M free sewing and M to N sewing tools. We already have this stitched up with the auto sewing, so I'll just come to edit sewing tool and that'll give us a chance to practice that. And I will undo just the neckline right click on the sewing lines you want to delete delete sewing and i will also undo the sleeves so this is now free and i will undo the sleeves because we have one pattern piece to multiple pattern pieces so let's see how that can be done this side is one pattern piece or half of this pattern piece to just one pattern piece. So I will leave that on. Let's create the sewing on the back side of the sleeve to one, two, three pieces. So we'll have one segment to three segments. And let's go to the M free sewing tool. Click and hold on this tool and you will see two different options. One of them is free sewing. The other one is M to N free sewing. Free sewing would be whatever length you want to whatever other length of the other pattern piece you want. Right now we have one to many pattern pieces, so we will choose M to N free sewing. This will be your options for many pieces to many pieces or one piece to many pieces. 
So we have this tool in our hand. And this one is very handy because it gives us directions right under your mouse pointer. So take a look and see what it says. Click on a point or segment line to begin M free sewing. So we always want to start with the single pattern piece. I will start from the shoulder point, left click once, hover over the continuity of the line and click on the last point. When you left click, if you finished, take a look at the writing under my mouse. It says press enter or return, depending on your computer, to complete the M sewing. So I'm going to click return. Then I'm going to go to the next set of patterns. And it says click on a point or segment to begin N free sewing. So that's the second set of patterns. We will go through all of them. So left click in the beginning and the end of each pattern. And take a look how we're starting to get the distribution here. Chloe is already distributing that one pattern piece to all of our three pattern pieces here. Whenever you finish, press enter or return to complete the end sewing. I just clicked on mine, it's synchronizing. And that completed our sewing lines for the sleeve. All we have to do now is just double check that this is done on both sides and we can see that this is completed on both sides. And we have finished with our M to N sewing tool. Now for the M free sewing tool, I will undo another seam just to show you how it works. I will come to the side seam here. I have the edit sewing tool selected and I will right click and delete this sewing and this particular sewing. And now we have the side seams free. So let's click on M and I have the free sewing tool in my hand. This time I will start from the bottom. I will start from this piece. I want to show you how a shorter piece can easily be connected to a longer piece or it will give you a point with the exact distance of where you need to finish this. So let's start from the bottom here and I will show you how when you're connecting a shorter piece to a longer piece, it will give you an exact measurement of where you will end that seam. So left click with the bottom, go all the way up to top and that completes our first sewing line. Then I will start on the second segment and watch what happens up here around this area. As soon as I left click on the next pattern piece and start moving, I get a dark blue point here that gives me the exact distance as the other pattern piece. And you can see that also you're getting the measurements. See how this measurement here is moving. And if you take a look at the left pattern piece, you can see the measurement is 11.586. And as soon as I reach this blue point, I get the same exact measurement, 11.586. So I know that if I click on this point, I will get exactly the same length sewing line. Now I want to show you something else. With the M free sewing tool, you could also connect a shorter piece to a longer piece. I clicked on these two points. I'm starting on the second one and I can bypass the exact measurement and go all the way up. This will create a gather on the longer piece so that you can connect it to this piece. Or you could also connect this pattern piece to a random length. So you can only come to here, for example, and connect these two pattern pieces with random distances or whatever you desire. So that is the benefit of using the M free sewing tool. You're free to use whatever distance you like. Now, obviously for these two pattern pieces, for these three pattern pieces, I want to connect the side seam to side seam and I do want to connect one to many pattern pieces. So I will benefit from using M to N free sewing. So I will start from the single pattern piece. We'll start from the bottom, finish here, click return and then connect the other two pattern pieces. And when you finish, click enter or return and your sewing lines are done. And when you finish with all of your sewing, all you have to do is click simulate and watch your outfit come together. And obviously here I missed the neckline. And for that we can utilize the M to N free sewing tool or the M for single pattern pieces. Let's take the M to N. We'll come from one end to the other. Click return when you finish with that and then start on the other two pattern pieces. Distribute until you're finished and when you're done with that, click return to finish that segment. That should complete our sewing. And we can see that our shirt is now stitched and simulated. 
So here's another trick. I'll show you how you can sew around a whole pattern piece with a double click. In the 2D pattern window, I will create a single patch. I'll create a pattern piece for it, and I'll show you how you can sew it with this double click. This is linked with editing, so I'm going to right click on it and remove the linked editing so I don't create two different patches. Next, I'm going to come to my internal ellipse or shortcut R. I'm going to come inside my pattern piece, create a simple circle. If you want a perfect circle, hold the shift. That will give you a perfect circle. Next, I'm going to select the whole pattern piece, and you can use either transform pattern or edit pattern. doesn't matter which one. You just want to make sure that you selected the whole piece. Right click on the piece and choose clone as pattern. We have the pattern in our hand. Left click wherever you want to place it. Now we're ready to sew this on top of it. Let's go to our M sewing tool, select that. We will stitch this pattern piece on top of the pattern piece. We have the internal line and that will serve as our stitch line. So watch carefully. I'm going to come to any point with the M sewing tool, left double click. That creates a full sewing line all around the pattern piece. Then I'm going to go to my internal shape which is exactly as my pattern shape. And I'm going to left double click on the same exact point, left double click. And that creates the stitch line around that piece. And this is ready. Left double click here, left double click here. And we have the sewing lines. Now we can come here, click simulate, and that will place the patch right there. And that's it. Simple and easy. Left double click to sew all around the pattern piece. And that was the basics of our sewing tools. The other two sewing tools have to do with editing and checking our sewing lines. So let's take a look at the remaining two tools. One of them is edit sewing or shortcut B. This comes really handy if we happen to, for example, screw up a sewing line, want to delete or want to redo any kind of seam. Select the edit sewing tool, come to the sewing line that you want to edit, right click on it and you will see all of the options that you have. You can reverse the sewing, for example. First thing that you check is if you have some kind of a twist like that is come to the sewing line, right click on it and see the pieces as they are and then select the edit sewing. When you hover over it, you will see the crisscross here. That means that this sewing line is reversed. All we have to do is right click and reverse sewing. You could also delete the sewing altogether. Right click on either side and delete sewing and then you can redo it again or do it the correct way. You could also merge, add point to pattern, add point to pattern on end. You have add seam line top stitch. Here you could also deactivate the sewing or hide the sewing. The last tool that we'll take a look is our check sewing line tool left click on it to select it and whatever sewing line you have selected now you can see if there's any kind of a length difference in the sewing lines in the length itself or ratio difference this comes in really handy when you want to double check and make sure that your lines are exactly the same length you could also check the length of any line by coming to edit pattern tool and then left click on the line and you will have the actual length of this point to point line and you can go to the other side and see if they're exactly the same and you can do that for any line so these are our four tools edit sewing n segment sewing m with two different options in there the free sewing and the m to n free sewing and check sewing length and that completes the sewing tools tutorial if you like what you saw in this video if you learned something please like the video Feel free to leave any comments. I'm happy to answer your questions. And please subscribe to Bobbin Talk so you don't miss any of the new videos coming up. Thank you so much for watching.